Hello. Uh, regarding the condition of this world, uh, I would like to ask, um, is it possible for the king of illusion himself to be liberated in some way? Maya, the king of illusion. Mm -hmm. He's liberated. He thinks he's liberated. Nobody do anything to him. So what, what is it now you want? You want to save him? Go ahead. <laughs> I don't like him. Well, the problem is as long as he exists in his world, uh, the system we don't like exists, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but we also are part of it. You see what I mean? Hmm. He existed long time already. Well, he he has nothing wrong with him. It's just he's designing all this, okay? But he doesn't actually do anything. So you can't even accuse him. <laughs> See what I mean? Like the, he just designed the tiger, and then he designed the rabbit, and he put the tiger next to the rabbit. Well, he do nothing. <laughs> right? Did you see he killed the rabbit? No, he didn't. It's the tiger who did it. He has his merit. You can't just kill him like that. <laughs> you can't just liberate him like that. Because he has been also practicing long years, long aeons, in order to get this power. He practiced for the wrong reason. See what I mean? He has a power, but he didn't have love. That's why. He likes to create things, <laughs> but he's an irresponsible creator. But you can't even blame him, that's the problem. I can accuse him, but I cannot <laughs> have evidence against him. He just created the tiger for fun, and then he created the rabbit just for fun. <laughs> what harm can it be to create <laughs> a tiger and a rabbit? The problem is that the rabbit runs next to the tiger, and so things happen. So how can anybody blame the king of Maya for what did he do? He just created things. You understand? So now, just like an alcohol producer, he just produced alcohol. He didn't force you to buy it by gunpoint. So <laughs> he also, you can also cannot say anything. <laughs> he has a license, you see what I mean? The other king of Maya also has a license. <laughs> <laughs> because he has been practicing much, much more than you do. You can't do anything to him. We can argue with him and can, you know, negotiate. Damage control, but you cannot, like, liberate him, <laughs> you mean. Huh? Put him in heaven, he's already there. <laughs> Put him in hell, he's also already there. <laughs> but he's the king of hell, <laughs> he's not afraid of hell. Okay, now you know, any more question? Yeah, is there some way to negotiate with him that way that his system changes a little bit? Uh, it will change if we all became aware, as I told you, as you do, you see? The whole universe, uh, on other planets, everywhere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait until you become master and you do all that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it is an evolution, you see what I mean? Mm. because uh, it is already all created, you see? Either we have to destroy everything and start it anew, or just let it develop and have to teach everybody to be aware. And don't walk there, just walk here. See what I mean? Yes. We can't get rid of the Maya. <laughs> that is a problem. But I have accused him for all his uh, mischievous deeds. And it is the truth like that, yeah? If we were not born here, then we didn't have problem, right? But the problem is we also had choice, yes? We had choice. It's just that when we were born in here, they so overwhelmed with all kind of temptation and trap that we didn't know which way to, to go. We didn't know what choice is the best, especially not everybody have been taught, you know? I mean, personally and, I would say, constantly to remind you that you shouldn't go this way, you should go that way. Okay? Mm. Because the creation, you know, like the evolution, eh? 
He created already. See what I mean? Before you and I were born. <laughs> and there's so many animals and all that, you know, so the, the evolution has to continue. Hmm? Until further notice. Yes. <laughs> Maybe we post him a job somewhere else. <laughs> but where can he go outside of the universe? Or he'll be itchy, itchy and create things again <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> the thing is, that is the thing. That is the thing I tell you. You have to practice spiritually with moral and wisdom and love. You see what I mean? That's why otherwise sometimes other teachers or some people like to learn magic instead. You understand? Or learn with any other master, no need vegetarian diet, no need meditation, no need five precepts, nothing. So some kind, this kind of teaching will breed kind of Maya king. And if you practice life after lives in the same direction, then you became Maya king. It's so much power, almost like the Buddha. You understand? That's why. Except no, no, no compassion, no heart. You see? That's why you have to keep the five precepts. That's why you have to develop compassion, not just power, not just protecting yourselves by the five names or your practice, but have to know that there is suffering for others, and you have to always thinking, every time you encounter someone or something, you have to think how to make him better. See? 